from the city of brotherly love and Citizens Bank Park Major League Baseball on tap the Atlanta Braves taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Now it's the power speed combo. Ronald Acuna Jr. The pitch. That one clips the outside corner. Underway here at Citizens Bank Park. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And now it's even one and one. Second pitch of the game, it was a good one, but doesn't get the strike call. We'll see how this umpire zone shapes up today. Lifted in the air, out to left. Marsh moves under it. Pulls it in for the out. One away. Here is Ozzie Albies up to hit. Breaking ball, and that got him. I don't care what some players might say. Nobody likes getting hit by a pitch unless you're in an 0-2 count and there's a knuckleballer out there on the mound. Here's Austin Riley. Right through there for a strike. Riley used to be a pitcher back in the day, Boog. In fact, fans used to give him a hard time in his rookie ball days because he started the season with a long slump. He'd get messages questioning if he should go back to pitching, but turns out he made the right choice. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Oh, this guy is so comfortable hitting with two strikes, even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0 2 count. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. That one the other way. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. Bottom of the first. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. On its way to the corner, Acuna drifts towards it, hauls it in for the out. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Trey Turner at the plate. Top of the zone for a strike. 0-1. Turner, multi-time All-Star, 30 years old now. A former first-round pick one back strike. in 2014. Oh. And that's outside. Liner snagged it first. Bryce Harper to the plate. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Chick swing on a 1-0, appeal to third. And he went around according to Daryl Parker. 1-1 one, one missing inside, so now 2-1 to Harper. Ground ball, Austin Riley whips it across, and the inning is over. Top of the second, stepping in the long ball threat, Marcelo Zuna. Wheeler back to work. And he swings through that one. No ball, one strike. Here's the 0-2. Oh. Straight him up a little bit. 1-2. Oh. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Got 
Griffin. One out. Michael Harris next up for the Braves. That clips the corner. Second inning here, no score. Well, one there. Swing and a tapper. To first, and he beats it. Well, just put it in play, right? With his speed, that's a hit every time. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Here's Sean Murphy. One and Pitch out, but no action. If it were an average catcher behind the plate, I'd say take second base, but this isn't a catcher you want to run on. His quick release is unreal. And the righty deals. Out towards right center field. Castellanos gets under it. Castellanos pulls it down. Here's Jared Kelnick. That is the left fielder, number 24, Jared Kelnick. That one's in there, 0 and 1. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. Dang. You might not see another pitch like that from a top level guy like this. Two gone, but the go ahead run is at first. Here at the top of the second. One and one. It's a pitch out, nothing doing, and that's ball one. Two outs. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Left hand batter waits. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Out number three. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the second. Now it's a cleanup hitter for the Phillies. Nick Castellanos. And he deals. And a foul ball. Strider, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, a curve, and he works in a two-seamer. Here comes a pitch. And a swing and a miss. And now one away. And now it's Alec Bohm. Wouldn't chase that time. One ball, no straight. One out, base is empty. In the air, right field. Acuna on the run. He dives, but he can't make the catch. No, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line like drive a in the box ball. score tomorrow. That's one of those yeah. things where, as a hitter, you kind of feel like you were due for something like that to drop in for you, no matter how good or bad you've been swinging the bat as of late. And he just fought it off and dropped it in there perfectly. This one popped up. Nabs it, and there's two down. And now it is JT Real Muto. JT Real Muto. That's in for a strike. And that's downstairs and outside. Boom. Off of first with two away. Out to short, Arcia. They get the force. Inning over. Back at Citizens He's Bank Park. Top half of the third the inning. Top. Now in for the Braves. Orlando, Orlando Arcia. The wind of the pitch. No. And that's off. 
the inside edge. One and oh. That one ripped. And out number one on the grab. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. Acuna in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Ground ball to Bohm. Sends it across to first. And Acuna retired. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. Fastball grew right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. That one in the dirt. Ball one. Clobber to right field. Way back. That'll fire up the dugout, and the Braves have the lead now. It's 1-0. Here's a big power threat. Austin Riley. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Pitch was in and off the plate. So hard to do anything with the pitch in that location, but somehow he got the barrel to it and hit it well. Pretty amazing. And now Matt Olson up to hit. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Under it. Brings it in. And that is that. Set for the bottom of the third. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. The left fielder. Red Bull. The wind of the pitch. And that one wrapped foul. Slice the other way and foul. Owen Chu now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And the right hander deals. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Oh. Inside just missed. It's a good take. that one down the line and that's just foul kicks and fires and another ball good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with you're better off taking that pitch got him looking that's a strikeout so digging in now for Philadelphia Johan Rojas pitch misses there and it's one to know The Braves up by a run here in the last half of the third. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. And this game is tied. It's 1-1. So the Philly batting order turns over. Next is the designated hitter, Kyle Schwarber. Oh. Just missed. What a no. On the ground to the left, and it goes just foul. That one off the mark, and it's two and one. A little out front there as he swings through it. Wouldn't chase that time. Swings and misses, struck him out. The batter number seven. Trey Turner with a chance now. He's over one. 
Turner. Strike one. Oh, and one. That one to first. He takes it himself yeah. to the yeah. bag, and that'll do it. Here, Citizens Bank Park. Here's Marcelo Zuna. The right hander back to work. Ozuna, a former gold glove winner, 33 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Next pitch downstairs, and the count is one and one. Swing and a ball popped up. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And a quick out number one. Here's the center fielder, Michael Harris. Harris measures six feet even, 195 pounds, and he's a former rookie of the year. Not even close there. And that's ball one. Left field. Marsh settles under it. Pulls it in, and there's two away. So here's Murphy now. now He's 0 for Kevin 1. John Murphy. That's and ball. ball one. One and up. Right through there for a strike. Two down, nobody on. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. On the ground to third. Gathers and throws to first. And that is the inning. Bottom four, and now the first baseman, Bryce Harper. The first baseman. Harper. The wide of the pitch. Swinging a foul straight back. And he'll one. One and one. Three and ball. another ball. Got it by him for the K. Right Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. That's a little bit low. One ball, no strike. Breaking ball inside. And now 2 0. And that one is inside. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Next offering is in for a strike. That one fouled off. Lace down the line. And now maybe extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in, and that's a two-bagger. So digging in, Alec Bohm. One for one with a single so far. First pitch, not close. Castellanos, the runner at second with one away. Garcia. Now two Damn. away. This is Bryson Stock. Oh for one with a fly. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. 
Pitch misses there, and that's ball one. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Out to short. Zips it across. That's the third out. Back here in Philadelphia, and now Jared Kelman. Jared the pitch and there's a foul ball you know these Braves just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one just one extra base hit for them so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park that makes it really difficult to generate runs lifted in the air down the left side Marsh moves under it makes the catch for the out and there's one away. Here's Orlando Arcia. 0 for 1 so far. All tied up. And we're at the top of the fifth. Swing and a miss. Check swing, and that's a ball. Got it. That's the second out. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, yes, but also some power. That just misses. 1-0. And a swing and a miss. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. And another ball. Good chase that time. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking and make sure that they don't get any confidence. And a pop up right side, foul territory. And that'll do it. And we're back. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. JT Real Muto. A wide to kick the pitch. And a foul ball. You know, these fills, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches they're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. Here's the left fielder, Brandon Marsh. Caught looking his first time up. Just missed. And that drops in for a strike. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Oh, that one inside, two and one. The pitch. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Riley drifts towards it, makes the grab. Two up, two down. Johan Rojas stands in for the Phillies. He's already homered in this game. Ground ball up the middle. Arcia. Now the throw to first on the run. They get the out, and that'll do it. New inning getting started. Now it's the second baseman, Ozzy Albies. Wheeler back to work. Foul ball there. The 0 1. And that one fouled off. Kicks and deals. Struck him out looking. 
Austin Riley will hit next. One for two. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Bounce to the left side. Boom. Throws on to first. And that quickly, two away. Matt Olson up to the plate. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. He swings and fouls one off. The next offering misses. One and two to count. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Two down, nobody on. And we're the top half of the sixth. Pitch misses, and now it's three and two. And a swing and a miss, and a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Bottom of the sixth inning. Now it's the DH, Kyle Schwarber. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Righty to the plate. That one not close. And the count is one and two. In the air, right field. Acuna there. And there's one down. Lefties can definitely be a little pull happy up there, especially with no pitches batter, that they see pretty well. That was a good just example. Not. He hooked an outside pitch, hit that ball in the air to right, just not with much authority. Turner up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. The shortstop takes the ball. Just missed. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. And that's Thank too you, high, ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just the missed bat. his spot. The Hitter did not got it. That was somebody to worry about over first. Harper. Here's Harper now. Turner runs. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. Man, is he fast. That is so fun to watch. Throw over to first. Turner back easily. Base runner with a one way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Sliced hard, but foul down the left side. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of the double play right here. One ball. That one missed. This is a great dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Pulled the string on the changeup. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Strider throws over and turns back in. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. What a stop! Throws from his knees. Throws high and over his head. And now Alec Bone. Siggy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know. I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in no spots. Slap the other way, foul. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. And that is that.
Back here in Philadelphia, we go to the top of the seventh, and now it's the Braves DH, Marcelo Zuna. The pitch. Not close with that one. Ball one. You can expect this hitter to be looking for something on a tee. He can get up in the air and untie this ball game. And it is two and one. Swing and a miss. And it's filled up. Righty delivers. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. It's a leadoff walk. And that's the go-ahead run. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches now and earned a walk. The center fielder. And now the center fielder, Michael Harris. Just missed. On the ground, right side. Down the line, and it's foul. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. That misses. Two balls, two strikes. In the air, left field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Throw holds him at second, but the go-ahead run now in scoring position, and still nobody out. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Murphy, the next day hit, takes high for ball one. Go-ahead run at second. Here are the top half of inning number seven. Ground ball could be two. The flip, Turner. Toss the second. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. Now the left fielder, Jared Kellner. That's a huge pitch right there. Looked like it was going to be a big inning, but you get the double play. I guess you'd say here's a chance for the next guy to pick up his teammate, though. Fastball for a strike. It's 0-1. And that one missing low. Two down. Go ahead, run. It's scoring position. And a count one and two. Right hander kicks deals. That misses the zone. Now two and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. That's the third. Boom. Zips it to first. That ends the frame. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the second baseman, Bryson Stock. And the pitch. That misses off the outside edge. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. With paint in the corners, working on the edges and changing speeds. Just a difficult one, you tip your cap. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. That's out to center field. That's a base hit. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Up next for Philadelphia. JT Real Muto steps in. Real Muto. 
just off the inside edge. At the belt and fires. That one hit to right. And that'll fall for a base hit. Rowe holds him at second, but the go-ahead run now in scoring position, and still nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for this team. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. And the batter now, Brandon Marsh. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Runner edges away at second. Oh. Just off the outside edge. <laughs> Left hand hitter waits. On the ground right side. Four. Six. Oh. Three. Yeah. And they turn the double play. And now for the Phillies, Johan Rojas. I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play, but right there, very well done. And he lays down a bunt. Olsen. And he beats him to first. He's safe. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. And first offering is fouled off. One run across in the frame so far. Here at the bottom of the seven. He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. Not even close there. And the count one and two. Just one out away from seven strong innings and just at 100 pitches. Man, pretty impressive. They've got to be happy with what they've gotten from him out there today. That's inside, and the count is two and two. Down and in, moved his feet. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion. So. And down on strikes. Picks up strikeout number seven. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Jeff Hoffman. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Well, one-run game. Orlando Arcia digs in now. And here it comes. Right field down the line, and that one... Slices foul. Looking to get the tying run on base. Center field. He's under it. Puts it away for the out. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. And fouled off. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. One down, base is empty. And that's in the dirt. And that's in for a strike. A one two. Check swing, appeal to first. No, he held up. Right-handed reliever. Caught it looking for the K. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Ozzy Albies. He's already homered here in this one. And there's a ball. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And it's 2-0. Oh. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Oh. And that misses off the outside edge. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So it's a good take by him. On the ground, right side. Sends it to first. That's out number three.
Back Good now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Joe Jimenez. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Here's Trey Turner. For the Phillies, the shortstop, Trey Turner. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. Jimenez, he's got some good and some bad. The positive is he doesn't walk very many guys, but Chris, the problem is that he is prone to giving up some homers. And it's flip a coin because the good thing is that you can bring a guy like this in with the bases loaded and not worry about walking in a run. But on the other side, if he gives up one of those homers, it counts for four. That Whoa, one just misses. One and two. The punch out there, now one away. And now here is Harper. Swings through that one for strike one. Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. Back up the, oh, that got him. In there safely. So man aboard, and next will be the cleanup hitter, Nick Castellanos. Harper runs. Oh. There's a ball. What a no. Throw He's there. Down. Safe. <laughs> now wanted a one. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. On the ground, the first into the outfield base hit. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. Back to back base hits. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. At the play, Alec Bohm ripped to first, caught. Race to the bag, but he's safe. Good job to avoid the double play. Now it's the second baseman, Bryson Stock. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Oh. And ball one. one well, ball. this is a critical okay. spot for both the pitcher and the hitter. You can learn a lot about a guy by how he handles these pressure situations. Oh. Right through there for a strike. One one is fouled off. And a one two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. You've got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late. Opposite field hey. up. Chases that one out of the zone. That ends the inning as they squander a chance to pick up some insurance. Back now and on the mound, the closer, Jose Alvarado. Now this is an extremely confident pitcher. He loves the pressure. Actually likes the one-run game better than a comfortable three-run save opportunity because that's when he pitches his best. Now the third baseman, Austin Riley. One for three. And a pitch. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one to no. And another ball. hit down the line and left dives and makes the catch
Now battle. The first base. Matt. Here's Matt Olson, known for his late inning heroics. Pitch misses. Ball one. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Wouldn't chase that time. Got to be real careful here. 2-0. He's hunting for his pitch. That one misses. And that's ball three. To the right side. Stott over to first in time. And they're down to their last out. Marcelo Zuna now at the plate. That clips a corner. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Good late movement on that sinker right there. It's right where you want to get it to get that swing over the top. One strike away. Hit to right, and that should do it. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Phillies hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Great pitcher's duel in this one. You get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these pitchers, it really came down to a few key at-bats. This was a fun one to watch.